Hello everybody and welcome on board this Sea line F44 from 1999 for a quick look around the forward accommodation of this boat. Now we've looked at the, uh, the saloon and the helm area in a different virtual reality video on the uh, in our channel so we're going to concentrate from the, the galley forwards in this channel uh, in this uh, video now this is a, a virtual reality video so that means you can look around where you like when you like all you need to do is swipe your screen or click and drag up down left or right so you can look around where you like when you like and we hope that you're, that you're to get a really good idea what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here how great is that now some people are sensitive to the movement of the camera so if you think that may be you I'll let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can look away and I'll let you know when the camera is safely back down so you can return to the tour and look at the rest of the boat but let's hope that doesn't happen. So where are we? Well we've just stepped down, we've come through the interior, we've come down these three companionway steps and we're in the galley and what an area. Before I carry on any further, very nice little touch, we've got a hatch here which allows direct access, uh, visual access down into the engine room as well so you can look at your engines very often at sea to make sure they're running okay there's access to and you can see the bills there as well which on this boat is nice and clean and dry which is lovely but we come down the companionway into this lobby area lovely great big lorry lobby area so i can be cooking here while somebody's going to the loo no problem no problems with people hitting each other etc etc by hitting i mean just nudging into each other um in set into the deck here we've got a nice big stowage area so there's a binnacle under there and we've got access to the bilge under there as well but not storage and uh, generally speaking the galley is a really lovely area very easy to take food etc up there very easy to get from here to here we can talk to everybody and feel part of the boat so very nice indeed although it is lower down we've got tons excuse me of headroom above us and it's again all light and bright and airy the, the light neutral tones carry through the boat we've got a handhold here which is great to brace onto if we need to and the galley work surface is all a really nice light color and uh, so is the woodwork so let's start from the bottom and work our way up we've got uh, two big cupboards here we've got a nice big fridge inset here lovely great big one we've got three burner stove here nice double or one and a half unit sink here hot and cold running water we've got a microwave we've got more storage here we've got a cooker behind us a bit more storage here and that's the side of the drinks cabinet. And uh, uh, as per you would expect on a boat of this size, nice big area for chopping boards, etc., etc. So all in all, a very nice galley, plenty of room, feels nice and bright, doesn't feel disconnected from everybody else. And I think you'll be able to do a really great job if you're ever in this galley. So let's pick you up for the first time. I'll transform you to the, or transport you to the aft cabin and I'll place you down there. Hopefully you won't fall off. Now, as you can see, as, as is uh, with a lot of this boat at the moment, although she's been worked on, we're in storage mode at the moment. So we've got piles of cushions, etc., etc. But I hope you get the general idea about this uh, cabin. Lovely long berths, nice and wide as well. We've got cushions around the outside, which look absolutely lovely. If you just look at the top, we've got access probably to the rear of the helm console there, although that's screwed shut. We've got three nice big drawers that you can't see from where you are properly. You can see the underside, but lots of storage in there for the weekends. Down here, we've got a sort of a drop-down vanity unit with mirrors which is really really handy love it love the way little things have been done on this boat that don't have to be done but have on the outboard side we've got a, a nice opening window there we've got a window underneath here too two windows underneath there too which are openers as well we've got a nice hanging locker and we've got a, a foot locker under there as well plenty of room to get changed in here well over six feet and uh, just is a nice area now unlike a lot of aft cabins because of the neutral tones the light coming in etc doesn't feel claustrophobic at all and if you if you can see underneath there we have got an upcut which means that i think you can probably crawl in there and then sit and read to your heart's content really good right then let's pick you up again we'll close the door to the aft cabin and we'll open the door to the heads compartment now this is a Jack and Jill heads. Now what does that mean, I, I, I hear you ask yourselves? Well that means that if you're in the after cabin, you can enter the heads compartment via this door, with this door closed, like so. That means that the occupants of that cabin can go to the toilet in here without disturbing anybody else. And it also means that anybody else in the boat can go to the loo here without disturbing the occupants of that cabin. Very clever, huh? So uh, very nice compartment, light and bright and airy, big window with opening, and we've got a sink in the corner, a toilet with a cover there. So if you want to sit and have a shower, if you're at sea, then you can do showers up here and it all disappears away down the plug hole. Nice and easy to clean and it is pretty clean by the looks of it. Um, and there's just generally a nice area with good headroom too. Great, so let's pick you up 
and close the door to the head and we'll take you through to the forward cabin which is one of the really nice features of this boat there you go now in here it feels peaceful it feels a little bit zen and uh, it feels like uh, again the, the neutral tones have carried on throughout the boat the light wood the light uh, the light materials the light carpet feels very nice we've got uh, an island berth which means you don't have to climb over people to get in you can go around the sides down either side we have an opening window we have a cupboard, a cupboard at the back big big mirror at the front which gives us uh, the illusion of extra space we've got a uh, shelf to the side and uh, nice uh, cupboards port and starboard as well for all your bits and pieces port is slightly different to starboard in that here we have got the uh, the hanging locker there to port we've got a door which takes us through to the other head or the the ensuite head but uh, with the main door closed uh, to this uh, cabin as you can see there's plenty of room to get changed here we've got great head height here still well over six feet does come down a little bit as we go forwards but who cares we'll only be sleeping in it in here anyway and as you can see we've got uh, we've got a blind for the hatch above there which is absolutely lovely so yeah very very good right i'll just open the front door again or the aft door sorry and we'll pick you up again and we'll go through to the ensuite there we go so you're now in the master ensuite so another nice head compartment plenty of room nice radius corners for easy cleaning we have mirrors all the way around here uh, we've got uh, uh, an opening window on the outboard side lots of work surface nice sink to do your bits and pieces storage underneath a toilet with a cover on it again so if you want to sit there you can do if the boat's moving around a little bit generally plenty of room to do what you need to do and if i just pick you up again and take you around the corner and place you there you can see you're now in a dedicated shower compartment so we can close the door shower away it all stays in there drains away bob's your uncle there's even a nice little seat here where you can just perch should there be a bit of movement or if your legs are a little bit tired possibly but uh, there we go so yeah very nice little shower compartment and very welcome to at the end of a hard day at sea so let's pick you up and we'll open the door and take you back to the galley well, I'll just uh, show you one more thing that I didn't notice before. I'll just place you back almost where you started. There we go. And if we just open up this here, you can see very nice little serving unit or chopping unit or whatever you'd like it to be. Or maybe a baby changing unit, although I don't think it's built for that, so maybe not. So uh, this has been Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers, just taking you for a tour for from the galley forward to this 1999 Sea Line F44. Hope you've enjoyed the boat, hope you've understood a little bit about where things are and what it's like to be on this boat. For lots of uh, other tours of other boats and for another tour of the after section of this boat, do go to our YouTube channel and uh, look at the videos there. Thanks for coming along, it's been lovely to see you and we hope to see you soon. Take care.